I have a lot I want to ask you about your process and your vision, but I thought maybe we could start way back. What, what are your earliest memories of, of growing up in Japan? Uh, the, my m memory was a uh, link with my piece, mostly, is uh, exactly the Vietnam Wars. And, uh, you know, Vietnam Wars TV program mm -hmm. in uh, documentary stuff in, you know, Japanese TV. And also, the, like, 40 years ago, uh, very often to showing at, uh, uh, exactly documentary, the war stuff, mm -hmm. uh, World War II like uh, Nazi and uh, like why so Japan was lose the war and uh, you know many many you know war image and also the you know Cold War too mm -hmm. like in America and the Soviet Union so a lot of stuff uh, in a environment in a, you know my environment is a you know war issue because you know what my father was a self defense force mm -hmm. you know, he was working so, and also that he was geek for the uh, kind of the weapon. And my house having a uh, you know, lot of the magazines about uh, you know, weapons and having an uh, uh, atomic bomb experiment. Mm -hmm. And the Japanese people very fear about the uh, effect in uh, you know, kind of the radiation stuff because my mom said, you know, so please be careful when the raining coming. So you have to escape from the you know, lane because of the radiation. So kind of that feeling was, you know, where from the kaiju movie a lot in Japan, that environment, I think. So I, my memory was something like that. And then were you also absorbing a lot of American stuff when you were a kid? Uh, yes, you know, many, many TV program in, uh, I don't know in uh, English you know, title, yeah. but uh, yeah, many kind of family movie. Cartoons? Uh, uh, yes, cartoons is every day. Yeah. And also the Lassie. Lassie? Yeah, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and uh, kind of the Dolphin something, like Dolphin. Uh, kind of flipper. Flip, flipper, yeah. 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 <laughs> right. so, kind of that, you know, very you know, popular. Do you feel that you're talking to your society through your art? When I'm making my concept and uh, you know, narrative point, is I want to, you know, making a very honest, you know, honestly to say something. So that's why, you know, my statement is, you know, what is uh, myself and the Japanese people, how confusing the, you know, confu like not, not statement, like, you know, straight away, just, you know, open the very, very confusing you know, landscape. Oh, I think one thing that people don't understand when they see your work is how much time and effort has gone into it. I think sometimes you spend 10 years on one piece. And I, want, I wonder if you want to show us um, a work and tell us about your process. This is a 100 meter painting. I want to make a challenge. One, one day I got that idea. 100 meter, 100 meter painting is uh, pretty you know, uh, unusual. I couldn't sleep like you know, three, four months. Right, kind of, that's why the very nervous, you know. If making a 100-meter painting is a lot of stress, mm. making a movie must be even more. Yes, very much, very much, <laughs> because I cannot control myself. So my job is say no, you know, not say yes. Like a no, no, no. Yeah. Every day my, you know, process is very, you know, painful. I did that, you know, each cut and each process, music and after recording and editing, mm. you know, I was, you know, doing for the hundred percent, but uh, cannot success, uh, cannot, you know, satisfy. Yeah. So that's why, you know, uh, I cannot say, you know, oh, this is great, you know, just, you know, okay. That, uh, you know, reaction is pretty cold. So that means uh, very difficult communication, they think. And, uh, I'm also thinking about that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm very enjoying it because this is my dream. <laughs>